What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. For those who don't know, this is Frogging Family Linux DKG. Now this, they have so many cool projects on this GitHub. Wine, there's Linux, there's NVIDIA, oh, they got a bunch of packages, GameScope, Mesa. If you want to compile it, it's probably right here. The reason I'm focusing on this today, while the Cache OS kernel is great, it leaves me with one minor bug that I don't like, is where sometimes when I boot up, I can't log into GNOME, and it's annoying. I just had it again, and I don't want to have to do it again. So we're going to be compiling our own kernel that is pretty much kind of like Cache OS kernel. Now, get clone... And then we're going to paste this in there. It's going to download. We're going to do sudo pacman dash capital S. Just like that. Good. You want this in case something fails. Uh, you don't have to go through and redo everything. You can even uh, compile new updates through this a lot quicker this way. It really does help. Yeah. So now that we have that, I'm going to put that over there. And... There's a lot of stuff that goes into the Cache OS kernel, but I think this should pretty much cover it. So I'm going to CD into Linux, TKG like that. We're going to, of course, bump up the zoom. And just in case you don't know, you can control shift plus and shift minus. I actually control shift minus to make it smaller. I believe this should be big enough for everybody to see. I'm going to type clear. If you're on Endeavor OS, Arch Linux, you need to remember two things. One is that your full speed of your CPU will not be taken into account because it's not turned on. So heading in here and heading down, you'll see that I, I'm going to actually set this to 23 because I want to still be able to use my computer. Then we can do make ekg-si and as you can see a frog pops up which is kind of cool hit zero because i want the 6.9.1 kernel now there's two ones that you could do eevdf and bore the other two are sort of dead my suggestion if you want the best gaming eevdf i'm gonna just keep hitting enter because, well, the defaults is what I want. And when it gets to certain points, we'll be able to do what we need to do. <sighs> I'm trying to make a little change in my videos here. I'm trying to talk a little bit more and be more detailed about what I, uh, what we're doing here. So, in my last video, I got asked about how I do my GNOME. I always get asked this. I have a video up. Just type in GNOME 46 and that video will be mine. Uh, usually okay and basically it's how I set up and theme my gnome I go through all my settings for every one of these things these are all this is everything that I use right here as you can see and uh, it really does help make things a lot more usable people think that this is me trying to imitate Mac OS it's not <clears throat> if anything it's next step OS which Mac OS bought or Apple bought and then took most of it and created a new OS which is then known as Mac OS so we're going to hit yes to installing all these dependencies I am going to mute my desktop audio and this part right here choose your CPU native AMD, native Intel, generic CPU uh, you know my micro architecture is Zen 3 so we're going to do 18 and I do this because I want it to work the best possible. Now, for this, it's called the kernel interrupt timer. Higher hertz means lower latency, but higher overhead and less input. So it's a double-edged sword. And as you can see, the default is a thousand. So you, I would suggest choosing between 750 and a thousand. Okay. Right now, I'm going to be batting a thousand. So let's go for a thousand by just hitting enter. And uh, full tickless, or just tickless idle, please. It can perform better with but you mostly AMD platforms and CPU schedules. All right, so we're going to hit two. And we're going to hit no to this. If your system does need this for VMs and stuff, go for it. 
I don't use Wagerroid because they're uh, they're kind of dicks. They refuse to acknowledge the kernel AMD modules and implement NVIDIA support, even though Wayland and NVIDIA go together very nicely with the 555 drivers. So they kind of don't exist to me. If I want to do Android on another OS, I'll choose Windows 11. It's way superior over there. So yeah, there we go. And for this, we're going to just hit nope because I don't want to deal with any of that BS because that can be troublesome. Now the kernel is starting to compile. It's doing its thing. This is going to take a while depending on your CPU, how many threads, how many cores you have. Please try to remember that. So if you have like a four core, eight thread, it could take an hour. Uh, if you have 24 threads like me, it takes me between 15 to 20 minutes maybe a little less depending and you know the more cores the better overall all right intel is not the multi-threaded king that's amd so amd tends to perform better at compiling the kernel itself but the king is actually apple's own m series processor which actually dominates at this yeah it could get it done in like five to six minutes on an M1, M2 is even faster, M3 is even faster. I don't know about the M4 yet. I haven't seen that compile the Linux kernel yet, but uh, my guess is it's gonna be insane. If you're wondering how much CPU we're currently using, well, the system monitor has our back. We're using 99% of my CPU. So I'm gonna pause here and when this finishes, we'll come back because uh, there's a few more things that we have to do, like install the kernel, and then I'm going to show you how to update Grub, and then after that, you should be good to go. Well, it's done. Currently, it's doing a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know what the hell it's doing on this point. <laughs> if I did, I'd tell you. But I think it's compressing into installation packages, or in compressing into the kernel itself. Uh... Or it's just installing modules, because that's what it says it's doing. Hey, hey, I don't know. I tend to stay out all this complicated stuff. I mostly just compile packages and then show people how to do it, because well, you gotta be that nice guy. I have added some things into my Discord. I want to show them to you real quick why that's doing that. Um, here's the current how to install Cache OS kernel and settings. On Arch Linux, we have how to run Firefox and X Wayland to prevent crashing on 555, how to compile Mesa Fedora with VA API, it's doing stuff, and how to remove old kernels from Fedora and Fedora kernel testing. More will be going there, of course, but I wanted to do this first just to get this out of the way. I will be adding a how to install Cache OS kernel and settings on Fedora right after this. Because why not, right? As much help as possible for people to get better performance and just to learn new things, right? I may as well use Discord for something useful. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe 100,000 people will show up and we'll have conversations all night long. It's getting colder. All right, so it just wants you to install everything. We're going to do that. And it, can t it tells you there's extra dependencies you can install if you need to. Uh, like NVIDIA TKG, DKMS, Update Grub, Simple Wrapper. We already have the Update Grub part installed. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, yay, Update Grub. That's it. And once this is installed, all you have to do is sudo Update Grub, which we'll find out here in a second, because this has got to do DKMS install and no debt mod. Now there's people out there that think that NVIDIA all breaks every kernel update. It doesn't. All right. Because DKMS will automatically trigger it to recompile modules every kernel update. So if you install a new kernel, you're going to see this running. Okay. Endeavor OS comes with draw cut, which uh, basically if we do sudo draw cut dash F, it's going to rebuild something else and it's already doing that right now as you can see so this is a really cool nifty part of having endeavor os and draw cut is something that's usually part of fedora but they brought it over i guess it's just easier to use and it's easier to tell if you have issues or errors or things like that 
constructing authentic amd.bin so it's done and now we need to do sudo update grub that was not the right button this was and as you can see it found our new kernel and our old kernels and it basically added them to everything it needs to Warning, OS Prober will not be executed and detect other bootable partition systems on them will be added to the group configuration. All right, before we finish this video, one last thing needs to be done. And this has been done out of order because I'm crazy and that's the way I was made. So if you go in here, you notice there's an install.sh and I don't know if it's gonna work, but if we run that like this, you should get the same results on Debian, Fedora, SUS, Ubuntu, Gent2, and I don't know what the hell generic means, but generic means whatever. What this will do, it allows you to compile a custom kernel on any of these other distros. And that, my friends, is uber important because this means you can do this on Debian, Fedora, SUS, Ubuntu, and Gent2. And whatever the Gent uh, generic means. Yeah. So I wanted to inform you of this last little thing. So if you were wondering if this is just for Arch Linux, Endeavor, and other Arch derivatives, no, this is for pretty much the majors. This kernel, uh, it should be added at the forefront, but if it's not, you could just click advanced on the boot menu and select it yourself. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did hit the like button, don't forget to share it, comment below on your experiences, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.